Picture this. Two inverted roller coasters, ice and fire, intertwined in such a way that they run next to each other but on different paths. The fire-themed roller coaster races at an incredible speed of 60 miles per hour, with the ice coaster following shortly behind at 55 miles per hour. Both courses were carefully designed to be dispatched simultaneously, creating not one but three near-miss encounters along the way. Hearts beating, adrenaline pumping, two minutes and 25 seconds of absolute thrill. A wonder of all wonders amongst roller coasters. So exhilarating that people traveled across entire states just to have a feel. It's no wonder that in the summer of 2011, a one-eyed 52-year-old man visiting from Puerto Rico thought it was a great idea to get on the ride. Unfortunately, that single decision had catastrophic consequences, causing him to lose his only seeing eye and become completely blind. This is the unfortunate tale of Carlos Montalvo and other victims who fell prey to a disaster that was only waiting to happen, which shut down the once popular Dueling Dragons coaster for good. First opened to the public on June 7th, 1990, the NBC Universal operated theme park featured many themed rides, attractions, and live shows. Its goal was to compete with the already thriving Disney World theme park, and by its opening, it focused on providing guests with a behind the scenes look at their favorite movies and shows. It was even used as a filming location, but was soon stopped because many producers and directors didn't want to shoot in Orlando. Following this development, the park evolved into a modern first-person perspective theme park as it focused heavily on themed rides, areas, and attractions. The park was an instant hit. Although it wasn't as successful as Disney World, it managed to garner about 10 million visitors annually. The featured theme rides were so successful that in 1997, when the park announced the construction of a new ride called Dueling Dragons, people were genuinely excited. The riders could choose between two dragons, a reddish-orange Chinese fireball dragon and a blue Hungarian hornbill dragon. Upon choosing their preferred dragon, the riders were then sent off at the same time on the two separate trains. Once inside the trains, guests prepared for their duel. As they reached the top of the lift hill, the two trains ran in opposite directions with five turns on each side. After reaching the summit, both trains successfully make their way down one of B&M's characteristic post-lift teaser drops. And then it begins. The fire train went to the left, and the ice train went to the right. After the first flip came the first of three near-miss points. Then the two trains entered a straight section of track as they sped toward their second dangerously close encounter, a pair of vertical loops. Once again, the legs of people on the opposite trains came within inches of each other. 18 inches to be exact, so close that they could have almost touched. After completing the vertical loop, both trains did a 180 degree turn to set up for the climactic showdown, the final near miss, a pair of two interlocking flat spins. Once done, both trains made their way back to the station. The action-packed ride was so intense that there was no break from when the trains departed the lift hill until its conclusion. It ran its course of two minutes undisturbed. At the time, the Dueling Dragons were unlike anything that had ever existed and quickly caught the hearts of many thrill-seekers. Due to its competitive nature and unique design, many people flocked to try it out, as the idea of racing roller coasters was new and truly interesting. Although the ride was amazing to think about, it was a recipe for disaster, but not in the way anyone would have imagined at the time. The ride's first recorded accident occurred on July 1, 2009, about 19 years after its initial opening. It occurred in the early hours of the day when Universal Studios technician Douglas Babcock was going through his usual morning inspection of the rides. At the time, Douglas was conducting a foundation inspection of the Dueling Dragon right under one of the Dragon's paths, when a ride operator, who allegedly had no idea Douglas was underneath the ride, accidentally sent one of the empty rides on one of its usual morning test runs. Sadly, like most inverted ride accidents, the dragon crashed straight into him as the suspended front car struck him in the head. Luckily, he survived the incident and was rushed to the hospital, where he spent about a week recovering. He would later miraculously make a full recovery and walk away from the ordeal alive. The next accident victim, however, was not like Douglas, and he was so unlucky that he was left permanently blind. In the summer of 2010, the ride went through a minor refurbishment. Following this, the ride was renamed the Dragon Challenge, and was made part of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. The ride itself did not undergo significant change and was most likely just rebranded rather than renovated. 
The new branding, however, worked, as many people flocked for a taste of their favorite wizarding franchise. Among these guests were 52-year-old Carlos Montalvo and his wife, who were visiting all the way from Puerto Rico. At the time, Carlos was a nurse by trade and had lost his left eye due to a previous condition. The couple visited the park for a day of fun and relaxation, and at around 5 p.m., he and his wife boarded the front car of the Dragon Challenge ride. The ride typically lasted about 2 minutes and 25 seconds, allowing riders to marvel at the intricate turns and near misses in what felt like a true dragon experience. However, just a few seconds into the ride, during one of the near misses, everything changed, and Carlos's two-minute dragon experience turned into a lifetime of terror. See, on one of the near misses on the vertical loops, a small object had flown from the other train and struck Carlos in his one good eye as the two cars passed nearly inches from each other. Following the event, Charles was rushed to the hospital and given emergency surgery to try and save his sight. According to doctors, the object had lacerated his one good eye, meaning he was running the risk of losing sight in that right eye forever. His sister even told the news reporters at the time that the doctors would have to watch him for three weeks to monitor the progress of the eye. Sadly, however, the eye never healed and had to be removed to save Carlos's life. This accident came as a shock to many, as no one at the time saw it coming. And even though the park, like many other parks, had a rule that required all riders to leave phones and loose objects outside the ride and not in their pockets, many riders did not see this coming. However, that was not all, as tragedy quickly struck again just two weeks after Carlos lost his eye. This time, a 19-year-old boy from Ohio named John Wilson was the victim. According to reports, on August 10, 2011, John was struck in the face, hands, and legs by an unknown object while riding the ride. Even though he only sustained minor injuries, the accident happened at a bad time for the park and was bad enough that it drew a lot of media attention. This is why the park's managers decided to stop launching the dragons at the same time. This time, the park rebranded the ride as a high-speed chase rather than a duel, which reduced its popularity among visitors. In an interview, Universal spokesman Tom Schroeder said, We believe this is the best path forward for our guests and the attractions. Sadly, not even their expert rebranding and marketing could save the ride as people began to avoid it for its history of maiming people, with some believing it was cursed. This decrease in popularity and attendance was ultimately the final nail in the coffin for the dragons, and the ride was torn down on September 4, 2017, finally putting an end to the tale of the cursed dragon ride. And even though the ride is destroyed, the impact of the ride will still remain and linger in Carlos's life. For the masses, however, the story reminds us of the importance of rules and why we should obey them. And although there are no more dueling dragons, there are still quite a lot of inverted roller coasters, and following the rules is all that could determine if we would have a fun ride or a harrowing accident. But what do you think? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you enjoyed this video, check out this next one.